I don't care what anyone says, that's glorious. How's it going tonight, Batman? Good. It's okay. Just let the pain go, Vicky. Let the pain go. Ah, paradise. Let it go. I guess you could say this is paradise. Why? Because Jace did this to you! Just like he did last time! Snap the fuck out of it! Whatever he said, make it stop! He said something to you on the phone, you've been sick ever since! He did this a year ago too, dude! I got it all on tape! It's a beautiful place. I mean, it sucks being homeless. But, uh, you know, it's nice to live in paradise. You have to snap into the, another personality or it won't stop! Boom! Like, that's the beach! And this is our, I mean, this is paradise, right? Give me back a tar. All right, paradise. See you around, I guess. I'll miss you. I've got breast cancer. It's a disaster. I'm only 31. Fuck, this isn't any fun. I can't get no boys attraction, but I try. They're gonna take my boob. I love rock and roll. And I'm a huge. Put another dime in the chip box, baby. I love rock and roll. I'm a 36 double D, but I'm only gonna have one titty. <laughs> Come and take a chance and dance with me. And it'll look funny. Circus isn't hiring, not in Yucca Valley. They're gonna take my titty, and that's a little shitty. <laughs> When you do what? My teeth are all fucked up. What happened, Vicky? Somebody fucked me up. What happened? Vicky? I really need your help. I need you to come out here, please. Oh, for the love of Christ. I'm not even joking anymore. I'm tired. Please come to save me. Oh, for I God's sake, okay. Vicky. I will come out there and I will not do anything wrong. I will literally do anything you have What happened to your teeth? What happened to your teeth? I can do anything you... I will do anything you ask me to do. Vicky, what happened to your teeth? If you have me... If you come... Vicky, I don't have any money to come get you. I just spent eleven thousand dollars to come get you when you went back. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, buddy, we're leaving, buddy. Hope you don't miss us. So what's going on? Uh, the ranger's coming, and uh, he's just gonna ask you guys to pack your shit up and get out of here. Okay. I'm not supposed to be camping down here. Uh, where is he? Love you, sir. I love you, Vicky. I got Really, right now we're dealing with another one. So I mean, you got time to pack your stuff. Okay. But he is coming. Okay. I'm not bullshitting you. Okay. I mean, you you, you can. Who are you guys? We're Alpha Project. This is what we do. We fucking come in and we clean up all the homeless camps. We've been here about ten times. To all these spots. So I mean, you can think I'm bullshitting. That's fine. Go I back. didn't say you were bullshitting. I was just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to. This is not uh, city property. Huh. And yeah. So. Don't they have to give us 48 hours notice? Not at this place. Not here. Not the Rangers. Ah. I mean, you can talk to him. I'm just letting you know. Or in, in, in the city, but right here. No. 
I just give motherfuckers a heads up so that way you guys don't get caught doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? I don't care if you camp here or not. Hey, he does. Thank you. I don't want to be there. No, not enough to get on either of the two bus tickets I bought for you so far this year. This is your whole life, Vicky. Every fucking since. I just want to get there. You know, just stop, stop, stop. This is all you do. <coughs> Talk about what you want, and then you don't fucking do what it takes to get it done. How do you get there? Jesus fuck. Really? Walk. Huh. How do you get there? You get your ID that you're waiting to come, and then you get on the bus. Okay. I'll try it. Is it yummy? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you got little hands. You know, they opened... Obviously, because they opened all of the bottles of kefir that they pulled down. They opened the bottles. They can, you guys can open bottles? That's awesome. You guys are awesome, dude. I know you'll try, Vicky. And then we'll have this conversation again when you, I wish I knew how. And then when a time comes and I fucking help you, you don't get on the bus. So I don't know what to do, dude. I'm done, dude. I'm, I just... I, I don't expect to ever see you again, Vicky. I expect that you're going to die in Lancaster and I'm going to have to just Why? fucking deal with it. Because you're not... Because you're not getting your shit together, Vicky. Look next. Look at the fucking piece of shit sitting next to you. You... I spent $11,000 to get you away from that motherfucker. And there you are. Right next to him. You don't even know me, cunt. You hear me? You don't even know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking cunt. No, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. Why are you guys so arguing with each other like that? That's weird. Isn't it weird? You don't even know me, you piece of shit. A narc says what? The fuck is wrong with you? A narc says what? A narc. You're such a fucking no, you're just doing this for the fun of it. You narc piece of shit. Why are you guys so arguing with each other like that? That's weird. Are you going to miss us? Yeah, who's going to throw you nuts when we're leaving? That ain't right. Well, we'll miss you too, buddy. You guys sure. So you know I'm recording this. No need to be jumpy, we're unarmed. Sweet dreams are made of these. What a man to disagree. I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would now you give me a camera no more Hello Hey <laughs> Hi again right now I'm doing tired of my fucked up life <sighs> You gotta help me What's going on Vicky? Even though everybody's got fucking cash Everybody wants me to ask you for money. Everyone wants you to ask me for money? Yes, even though I don't even have fucking money. I don't even have money, do I? I only have $10 on my fucking SSI card. So why do you guys want me to ask him for my $10? Okay, then that means you're just going to be my man and, and give and to share your money. Sugar daddy, I like. And where are you going to live? Uh-huh. Where are you going to live? I'm going to live probably in his van for a minute until I can get a rental room. But other than that, I don't give a fuck if I have to go into a tech. Honest to God. I know. And I've already found, because I get these weird calls, I mean not calls, text messages on my phone from this chick that had my phone. 
And I've already noticed a couple of places even hitting me up about room for rent, so uh, I'm not joking. I think I got those. You just gotta help me out with it, and you make the bank, so you gotta help me out a lot more than you have. Okay, and we're gonna go to the gym together and get ourselves fit. Do you have um, FaceTime right now? Can you can you get on the phone and do that? We'll park. First. <laughs> They're doing it to me, Vicky. They've been fucking with you for so long just to try to piss me off. I mean, there's no other explanation for what the fuck's going on here. Why would the man who's sitting next to you let you sit in his car with shit in your pants for five minutes while he told you you were nothing so you wouldn't answer my phone call? Do you like that? I don't know if you have to show yourself as like that. That's your problem. I see your issues. And what I'm telling you is what we all fight about, what we all uh, are being mad about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're special. So you're not that special. Mm-hmm. What? That's what he's saying to you as I'm calling on Facebook. He doesn't want her to show her face? What the fuck? What the fuck? is that Julian yeah Julian heard what you say when you didn't think anything was taping you five minutes I'll tell him let me tell him let me tell him give him the phone God yeah, buddy. What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, you you left a message on my voicemail, but you didn't know about it. So it was you spending. F- tell me, tell me. Yeah, five minutes of you telling Victoria she's nothing, so she shouldn't answer the phone, even though she had shit in your pants and she was sitting right next to you in your car, and you needed my money to get in a hotel room, and yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. And he's completely controlling her. She's sitting right there in front of this and not picking it up. And she was sitting right next to you in your car and you needed my money to get in a hotel room. And yet you spent five minutes telling her not to answer the phone. You kind of have, I I don't know how you don't remember that. So do you just like the smell of shit, Julian? Is that it? You love the smell of shit? No, Vicky, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You never wanted to do the can, dude. Josh and Johnny put the first can in your hand. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. (sighs) She threw up and yelled and screamed all night. Again. The guys that did this to her... The gang of motherfuckers who did this to her. It was Josh, John, Johnny who raped her. Literally, I want to be smart with all the falls. We want to get our brains. Vicky, if you want to be smart, stop putting the can that they keep using to fucking control you into your mouth. Joshua? used the can to hypnotize you when you lived with him and John. Remember John and Joshua? The redhead and the fucking army guy that used to give... You have to stop. On You You have to stop, Vicky. No, no, I'm going to stop. I want to stop. You got your feet... You got no teeth left. What the fuck, dude? Fuck. What happened? Oh, 
there's the hand. You don't know what happened. Yeah. So I'm imagining that the guy sitting next to you keeps hypnotizing you, but you can't remember how your teeth got fucking broken. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. I need to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Okay? Okay. I really want to get out of here. I hear you. I really want to get out of here. I hear you, Vicky. I've already bought you two Greyhound tickets and you don't get on the bus. <laughs> oh, my God. <goodness. laughs> that sounds great. Okay. Okay. This is happening. This is happening. It better. Because we're, we're getting too old to keep having more extra chances, dude. I know. We gotta I'm make 30. this happen. I'm 30, you know that? Yeah, I know. I'm, four, I'm 48. Yeah. Vicky, <laughs> I'm gonna be 50 in a year and a half. Well, I can't keep doing this, dude. You gotta get your shit together now. I like am, now. It's happening. I love you. I love you. I love you too, man. All right, I will call you on Facebook. Okay, and you gotta start trimming that fucking beard, man. What the fuck? Well, it's so it's so fucking cold here. I don't want to trim anything until it warms up. Okay, okay. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> you just look like a crazy person. I love you. I love you too. I love you so much, man. All right. All right. I'm gonna call, I'll start calling you Wednesday when I wake up, and you just call me back when you when you get the message, and then I'll buy your ticket. Okay. Okay. I'm Happening. All right. Thank you. All right, I, love you I love you, Vicky. Oh, I'm just a girl, a little lonely. Yeah, well, don't let me out of your sight. Oh, baby, you're thinking of so much. You're thinking of so much. I think you know so much. What can I do for you? Sit down. Can I sit down? Yes, please. Sure. In the dirt here? What's up? You want me to sit in the dirt? Great. What can I do for you? What's your name? Frank. You know that this is a, it's called the Mission Valley Preserve. Uh -huh. It's a wildlife preserve. You cannot have any camping happening here. Uh, we're homeless. We kind of know where we sleep is legal, so we just figured this is nicer than the others. Okay. Do you have ID? I do. I don't think I have to show it to you, though. Actually, you do. Do I? Mm -hmm. Or what? Well, I'm, I'll just call them PD and they'll get it from you. I guess we can show you our ID. If you're gonna be like that. How, how quick do you think they respond to the calls of people just sitting here? Thank you. Yes, sir. Seth and Victoria. That's us. How long have you guys been here? A few days. Few days. Yeah. My boyfriend got arrested. We sent him up here. He's my stepdad, and he came back and let me get arrested. So we want to move. We just have the panhandling every day. Why would they? Why though? Can I ask? Not just me. No, I don't have to talk to you guys. I'm talking to him. I know, but that's my man, and I'm mentally disabled, and I kind of get a little freaked out. What's, what's your last name? Healer. Don't make it worse, Vicky. Don't uh -huh. talk to him right now. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Just calm down, Vicky. You're gonna I make can't it worse. Can't handle anymore. No this way. happened the day you went no we up north. No ah! Vicky. Ah! Ah! Vicky, calm. I'm sorry. Stop. Calm down. You're gonna, you're gonna make it worse. Okay, nothing's happened yet. There goes my appetite. I don't ever get to fucking eat. <laughs> Vicky, you need to stop. They haven't done I'm anything sorry, yet. But I love you. I can't take my life. Vicky, Anymore. Vicky, stop. Oh my God, dude. Would you stop making this worse? I'm sorry. Nothing's happened yet. I'm sorry. Okay, except that you're throwing a scene. Man. Stop. <laughs> Anything. 
you don't I know if you keep doing this, they will <laughs> stop. Uh, I can't sleep if they do this to me. I said, how could he be a federal agent and be a Nazi? Stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing that because it's gonna fucking have repercussions. I have videotape of her mother's birthday when I came to meet you guys at the park. She called her grandmother on the phone, okay, to set up a, a, a meeting. And you touched her on the leg and you said you should go. And that, you touching her on the leg and telling her she should go, made her switch to her other personality. What do you mean? I was trying to see my son. Oh. Are you in the neighborhood? No. Why? Kind of. Why? Well, why? Because you said you wanted to see him. Is that what you said? Yes. Go. Stop. Seriously. Go. So when? Just let me call you back. What? Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Oh, kinda depressed, fool. I don't wanna fucking even move. I don't think I've even left this spot. You gonna go see your son real quick? She was on the phone with her grandmother to set up a meeting to see her baby. Right, and I said you should go see your baby. And that immediately triggered her, that triggered her to go to the other personality. And then all of a sudden she's like, I, I can't go, I can't go. Remember when I had that van for a few days? Yeah. For a week, and then you guys were, were all at the storage unit. You and her were in the storage unit, and I was sitting outside. Yeah, I heard her say, "Quote, don't snap your fingers at me. I'm not a dog." And then you did one big, huge snap of your fingers, and then her head dropped to her chest, and then it raised back up, and she said, "What do I do?" And you told her to go to sleep, and then she laid down and went to sleep. Can you explain that to me? I might have clapped. No, you snapped your fingers because, yes. It's as loud as I can snap. Yes. Right after she told you to stop snapping your fingers out. Because the three guys she was with before you, I all I caught them all putting her under hypnosis. Okay, well, I don't know hypnosis. But, um, well, then why did she I'm tell you? I'm a convict, bro. I don't read into books, and I'm not into hypnosis like well, this. Well, then how did you put her under hypnosis? I didn't put her under hypnosis. I watched you do it. Okay, how did you watch it if we were behind the curtain? You weren't behind the curtain. You were sitting. There was no curtain up then. You were sitting. She had the fucking. Uh, this was before the curtain was there. You were both sitting. That curtain was there the first time I. Ever well, she didn't have it closed that moment then, okay, because well, I, I heard her say that. Under hypnosis. I watched. Trust me, if I had somebody under hypnosis set, she would not be acting like she is right now. Well, you guys. She would not call you stressed out. If my hypnosis would be good attitude all day long, trust and believe that. Well, I wish that would be the situation. Well, fucking. That's I'm telling you, your, your hypnosis things. I know I know you got fucking, your imagination is fucking huge. I watched you do it. Okay, well, I'll tell you, your imagination is huge. Okay. You got a very broad imagination. Mm -hmm. But I don't know nothing about hypnosis. I'm coming over here as a man, trying to talk to you as another man. Okay, and, and I'm telling yeah, you I what. Yeah, I told her, yeah, I was going to come over here and be violent, but I fucking, I got so, so much. So where is she now? She's she walking over here. But I got so much fucking shit going on in my head that the last thing I'm fucking worried about is violence. Then I heard him say, and your Jew father. So I turned my camera on. See what happens next. Stop it! Fuck, dude! Tells me she hates me and all this, dude. Uh -huh. All right, I go and get her motherfucking name blasted on me. Uh huh. I'm fucking dedicated to that bitch. So why'd you just come after me?
Vicky! 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 Stop! Vicky! Stop! Stop! Baby, Victoria, stop! Hey! Baby! Victoria! Baby, stop! Baby, stop it! Stop, stop, stop! 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 I was uh, robbed in Lancaster. I'm homeless and I'm sleeping by the DMV. Someone stole all of my stuff. They stole my backpack and my suitcase next to my head while I was sleeping. Did you report that to Lancaster? Yeah, oh yeah, there's a report of of course. They stole everything I own. Anyway, the next day uh, at the homeless showers, a girl gets in line next to me and she's wearing one of my hats. That's right there by the Metro Station, yeah, correct? Yeah, exactly. She's wearing one of my hats and I say to her, that's my hat. She gives it right back to me. But then her boyfriend gets in my face. He's like, who the fuck are you, man? That's not your hat, blah, blah, like in my face. And I said, you know who stole my stuff, who stole it? He goes, what do we look like, narcs to you? I'm like, yeah, actually you do. I did get robbed. But you do rob people. What's that? You, so, burglary. So, someone's sleeping over there against the wall. You grab their suitcase and they're... You didn't steal my shit. That wasn't me. Why would I steal someone's suitcase? Why don't you tell me why? You know, good for me. Why would I need a suitcase? I'm in the same situation you are. Yeah, so why would you steal all my shit? I didn't. You did. You did, Narc. Huh? I said you did, Narc. Narc? Yeah. You know what a Narc is? Yeah, I do know what a Narc is. I think it's amazing you come over and start a conversation with me after stealing all my shit. Small fucking world, huh? Yeah. Alright. Karma's a bitch. Because I've been an activist for nine years and I've been dealing with this shit for nine years. The day after his best friend robbed everything I own, he gets in my face. So this character that you said his name is Jace? Jace, or yeah, he goes by Youngster is the street Jace name. Jace or Youngster? Yes. You're saying it's his friend that stole your his stuff best in the LA County? Yeah, his best friend stole okay. all of my stuff. And I told the LA, de the deputies know the guy's name. Definitely. They had him in custody okay. and they did nothing. The day after they stole my stuff, he gets in my face. Now he's with his girlfriend at this place. They're Your holding daughter, hands. Correct? No, no. Our, this, we're back in LA County. Back in LA County. Gotcha. The day after President's Day when everything was stolen from me. Okay? This guy is standing next to they happen to get in line next to me with my stuff and he gets in my face. Now, unbeknownst to me, at that very same week, he is breaking up with that girl who was wearing my hat and calling my daughter, who was completely on the other end of town. Just coincidence in a town of 156,000 people, he's just also getting into my daughter's life. Okay, well it's not against the law for him to call her. 911, what is the address of your emergency? I've called the police on this guy about 11 fucking times. He's violent, he's attacked me three times. I've shown the deputies three different videos of him physically attacking me. She, uh -huh. she's, he, they, deputies have gone over there and seen a black eye on her and just decided not to do anything about that. Um, and now she's calling again saying, please call the police. So if you call okay. her and he sees a call from 911, he might hurt her. Well, it doesn't pop up as 911 when we call people, so that wouldn't be a problem. Okay. So we'll send somebody out there again, okay? That'd be great. And Thank th you. Yeah. He's a federal agent, and that's why I'm not telling you where they are right now, because unless, in, until this is going to come out that he's a federal agent, undercover, torturing us, all of a sudden now this guy's in my life. Okay, he's my, the, the best friend of the guy who stole my stuff. He's now Victoria's boyfriend. And while we're at the storage unit, because we were homeless and at the storage unit, I heard her say, don't snap your fingers at me, I'm not a dog. And then I saw this. Just a big snap. And her head went like this. But no physical contact. Can you listen, snapping. please listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, listen. Very carefully. This is what she did. 
He snapped her f his fingers. Her head dropped. It raised up slowly. She said, what do I do now? He said, go to sleep. She laid down and went to sleep. Okay. okay. Now, he is the fourth boyfriend in a row okay. that I... Can, can we pause you? Yeah. So, he hypnotized her. He didn't actually forcibly hit her or anything? That's what we're getting at. We need some clarification. Yeah. I, I'm, so I'm talking about how, I'm talking about how he hypnotized her. Okay. Yes. And he's now the, the fourth boyfriend in a row who I've caught hypnotizing her. I don't know You're that hypno hypnosis putting, is assault. Putting somebody intentionally into hypnosis state so you can abuse them is, that that's just. I, I, that, I don't think there's a criminal statute for that, to be honest with you. Really? That sounds like a great deal. I guess we'll pack up and leave. Yeah. Okay. Go with the first one. What's that? It's going to take two trips to get to our storage unit. We have way too much stuff in the tent, so just give us, it's going to be a few hours. Okay, I'm going to take your IDs. I'm going to make a copy of this real quick. Are you serious? Yeah. You're not walking off with my ID. No, I'm not taking your ID. It's a field interview report. Oh, you have it right here? So, um, then that way, if we see you guys in here again, I'll know if I've already contacted you, and then you're just going to get an illegal logic citation. Awesome. But you're just making the copies here, you're not leaving with it. Okay. Sounded like you said you were taking. I'm taking. I got you. I got you now. Okay. All right. Do your thing. And you said he made her go to sleep. That 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 time. That's, that's not abuse. Okay. <laughs> So what's the Alpha Project? Huh? What's the Alpha Project? Oh, the How'd you get that job? There's no smoking in here at all. all if right. the fire happens, it's uh, not good. All right. Well, we're going to leave the tent because it's a mess and we got enough stuff to carry out. So if it's not here, I mean, if you guys leave it here uh -huh. unattended, uh -huh. it's just going to get swept up. Well, I know. That's what I'm saying is the tent's a mess and we have too much stuff we're trying to save to carry out. So we're, we're just going to take our stuff and I guess you guys can take the tent down. You're just going to leave the tent here? Yeah, it's torn up and the zipper's broken and we're done with it. All right. So let me, let me, let me make another thing clear. Why, Mama? Mama, please. Vicky. I'm so tired of my stress. Stop <gasps> freaking out. Vicky, come back in the room. Stop! 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 
It's just a boyfriend, Vicky. <laughs> you have a son who needs you. I, I need to talk to another man. I'm asking you as a man, Seth, to fucking talk to you, dude. What do you, when, what do you want me to do? Fucking, I, I don't know, man. You're fucking, how old are you? 43. Okay, you got 20-something years on me. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the last eight of them, I've watched every guy she's with okay, well, fuck with her to the point that she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Look, this is what she does. She runs off and goes and finds dope dealers to come to her aid. Well, I'm sure she does. That's what, that's been the whole point. That's all they've been doing year after year. Let me, let me, let me make another thing clear. Huh. One of the reasons we do this is because this is a wildlife preserve. Uh -huh. This is all litter here. That's considered littering. Yeah. Which is another offense. Uh -huh. So I would like it if you took your stuff out of here. All of it. All the trash and everything. That'd be great, but you know, like I said, we have to make two trips of the stuff we're trying to save, and then I think that's what you pay these guys for. I clean it up myself too. Yeah, well, I'm sure you get a salary. So uh, we'll get all this stuff out, and the rest is on you. The rest is on me. Well, I mean, you, you're going to take it either way. You said you're going to take it either way. So why would we make a second trip all the way back here to clean up our shit that you're going to clean up anyway? Well, I understand that, but that also means another trip, and we have to go panhandle today so we can eat dinner. So you're already making our day much, much worse. We're going to get all the stuff we're going to save out, and then we're going to leave. And I'm, that's, that's the deal we're making, I guess. If your deal was that we're going to come in, I mean, we would have cleaned this all up. Obviously, this, is our, this isn't in, intentional trash. This is the stuff from the, uh, the little rodents that come by and rip open our trash bags. But... You're kicking us out in the middle of the day, so we're gonna just take the stuff we're gonna take, and I don't know what else to tell you. Okay. The guys before you fattened her up. The ones that made her lose custody of Stone, that she was living with, for, for weeks and weeks, they kept cooking stews and steaks. She kept joking, she was like, it's like they're fattening me up. And then one day, they just became tweakers. After fattening her up and making her body image really fucked up, they just became tweakers in the house. So what did she do? She did tweak, and then she lost her son. So you want to come to me as a man, I'm going to tell you what I've seen year after year. And if I saw you as separate from that pattern, that would be great. The only person I saw separate from that pattern was a guy who, who she's known for years. And what happened? A cop moves into the house with them, gets them all tweaked out, breaks up their relationship. The one guy who didn't fuck with her, someone moves into the house and fucks up the whole thing. Now you come into her life. Now you come into her life literally the day after your best friend steals everything I own. Okay? At the same time. Now hold on, hold on. Yeah. As soon as I found out, because you got the hat back, okay? Yeah. As soon as What happened when I got the hat back? Look, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Victoria approached me in a park. This is how I met Victoria, okay? Yeah. She came up to me in a park and asked me for a cigarette. Yeah, I know. All right? That's how me and Victoria, as soon as she told me mm -hmm. that you were her stepdad, mm -hmm. all right, I literally, you can ask her, I confronted Miracle, I grabbed him by the back of the neck and said, everything you stole from that dude, you're going to do whatever you can to get it back. And then what happened? Huh? And then what happened? Oh, he just gave you a look like, thank you. It's yummy, huh? We're not going to be here anymore because the mean ranger's making us leave. I'm going to leave that all for you, okay? them good and strong. Park rangers think we hurt wildlife. We feed, park ranger doesn't feed you, does he? Is it still on? Yeah. Good. Every single holiday since the day you met her, you have made our life a living hell. On her, on my birthday, Mother's Day, you made her cry five times. What kind of boyfriend makes, you know she lost her kid and you make her cry five times on Mother's Day, which just happens to be my birthday. Five times. So come to me as a man and explain that. People have arguments. That park ranger doesn't feed you. We feed you. <laughs> who, who preserves nature, huh? I think we do. Threw some cherry seeds out there. and Those could grow into cherry trees. So we left a lasting impact on this beautiful valley. I'm asking to forgive, but not to forget, okay? Because it's, you need forgive, but don't forget. About what? The shit that's happened. The shit that went down on, on uh, July 4th? July 4th. Well, yeah. Okay. Another holiday. It was actually before the holiday. No, I know, but she found out on July 4th. Right. Okay, well. 
we are good for nature, we plant cherry trees. And that will feed generations of people with cherries. You're welcome. You didn't just randomly meet her at that fucking park, dude. You what met her, but talking about. You were standing there when Mark fucking pushed her away and you were standing right there. I didn't even know her though, is what I'm saying. I'd never even seen Victoria until that day at the park. I'd never laid Which out happened to be the same, was it the same day that your best friend stole all my stuff or was it a day after? Was I don't, it? I'm not sure, but. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just let the pain go, Vicky. Let the pain go. Let it go. You have her sedated now, of course. When she wakes up from that, she's going to be fine. And she's going to be asking for a cigarette and saying she wants to get out of there. Because she doesn't have a medical problem, she there's a gang of five guys who have been hypnotizing her. And with a post-hypnotic suggestion, they have get her to think there's something in her stomach she has to throw up. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. Are they bringing her food or should we can we go get food? Oh, they're going to bring her. Okay. I don't believe that, so I'm going to go get me cafeteria food because I've been waiting for a good minute. Can she go get some? Or yeah. I mean, really. Just, no, that, you that, can, that, uh, Zofran's you making can, her hungry. You can go, but the patient can't really okay. go out of the unit. In case patients can't go walking into no. the So I'll call you and tell you what they have there. That's some ridiculous shit, man. No. I'm still in the hospital. I know, but you can't roam the whole... Well then, let me have a security guard come with me. I don't get it. I'm honestly, uh, I've been having the worst service here ever. Mm. And I've been documenting for this for four different hospitals over the last three years. So if you, if she seems fine, say mamas. Mamas is the personality they switch her into so they can, so she gets sick. Now I've been dealing with this. A year ago this happened over and over again and it stopped and all of a sudden the boyfriend who's part of this gang called her mamas again two days ago she gets off the phone with him and she started throwing up and she basically hasn't stopped until she comes out of it they you you same thing happened at the other hospital down the street we went in they she was screaming like a lunatic throwing up all over everything they sedated her she woke up she was fine she wanted to leave so I'm telling you there's a psychological thing going on here and I can show you the pictures of the throwing up and the screaming and yelling all night long, but this, something needs, you can't just release her. Something needs to be investigated here because, well, do you have a psychologist on staff? Okay. Now she has multiple personalities, yeah, so they so manipulate, so the, 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 the dark side personality does things for them. Where else, and then where the else do you know about Josh? There's, she, has, she has multiple person. she may say bi uh, bipolar, but that's just what her mother's shorthand for was. My uncle's bipolar. Victoria is not bipolar. She has multiple personality disorders. She has six personalities. And these guys manipulated, Mama's is the name of our dead cat. And they manipulated her to think she has a new personality called Mamas. And when they call her Mamas and she switches into that, she yells and screams and throws up for hours on end. Hi, baby. I miss you so much, Mama. I miss you, baby. 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 Just like he did last time. Snap the fuck out of it. Whatever he said, make it stop. He said something to you on the phone. You've been sick ever since. He did this a year ago too, dude. I got it all on tape. You have to snap into the, another personality or it won't stop. I mean, you know, we did a CT scan of rebellion and it looks okay. But the issue you think is that she's just under the influence of these well, people. And, and you know what? I, I, she's calling me right now. Um, can, can I answer her? Can, I don't want to put you on hold, but she's probably freaking out. Is she awake now? Apparently. Uh, yes, she is. I can see her. She's up in bed. Yeah, she's. Let me, let me. You can talk to no, her. No, she. You, you, I, I'll call her back. 
a caller back. Um, so, so I don't know what to do because if you tell her I said that, she's gonna flip out and start yelling and screaming about me. But I, I, I mean, it's gonna. We'll see you. She'll see you again tomorrow. Is what I'm saying because this has happened over and over again. I don't. Well, I, that, w that would be great, but she's not going to do it based on me saying this. That's why while she's in there, if you have someone who could put her under hypnosis and ask her what's going on, this will all come out. I and mean, this is a gang up. They didn't just hit They yeah. drugged her with dust off. I have videotape footage of her being all drugged out on dust off, and they manipulate her personalities. You, I, why didn't you tell him no? I didn't tell him no at the time because I thought it was John. You didn't tell Johnny no because you thought it was John. Yeah, I didn't tell it. Johnny no because I thought it was John. They used this creepy image to terrify her and control her. It was sitting right next to the television and she was petrified of it. You made a phone call to Josh and now we're fighting when we were just fine before? Wait, you make every, you make, you have, think everyone in my life and uh, that I meet as a friend of the cops, so you create problems so what the fuck do I say what, what am I supposed to do dude honestly I I am to respect my friends you make problems I think he's a cop you think Julian's a cop yeah so why are you dating him <laughs> interesting right you're a real shit because it must be a that interesting is all this true no 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 this real shit I cannot multicast! You're talking? He's talking? All he's talking? All the talking? I just don't, that kind of fucks in my head! When I have to multicast, but everybody's talking in my fucking ears! He's talking, you're talking, and I'm like supposed to like get to know all this shit. It's kind of insane, I'm going insane, dude. No, you're, <laughs> you're not, sweetie. He's fucking with you. You're not imagining it. He's been fucking with you the whole time, sweetheart. Notice how great you were doing when you weren't seeing Julian? Yeah. Look, I, I, keep, I, keep, I keep certain things with me to make sure I'm okay. Okay. Like what? What do you have with you? Uh, like, uh, right now, I've been holding on to this thing that looks like, uh, looks like it's a, for, for my protection. It looks like a little cat thing, and it's like tiny little brass knuckle thingies. Oh, good. But I don't want it. <laughs> ever have to use it. I just have it in case I ever was in a scary predicament. Yeah. I am worried. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I would like to be in Missouri and try to get my life right. I was there. When I was in there, when I was out there with you, I got my weight back. Yeah. Things were okay. You yeah. were about to help me with surgery with my mouth. Yeah. Stuff like that. And I need that kind of shit because my mouth all fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up, really fucked up now because you're talking in an accent. Yeah, and, I got a, and I got a huge lump on the back of my head, don't even know why. You don't know how you got a lump on the back of your head? I got a huge ass lump on the back of my head, don't even know why. Is that why you're talking in that weird accent? Me, I don't know, that might just be because I'm around. I don't know. I have had shit happen to me and have had no idea or regulation of what happened. Here's the list. Hypnotist number one was Josh. The redhead that started her on this fucking everybody hypnotizer and rape her whenever they feel like it path. That was followed by John and Johnny, who had similar names so Johnny could rape her when he convinced her that she that he was John who she was dating. Then there's Dusty and Jace. When Jace needed a vacation, she switched from Victoria. Jace only called her Victoria, but Dusty only called her Vicky. So she'd be all in love with Jace, and then they'd switch her into Vicky, and she'd hang out with Dusty, number four, for a week or two, and then Jace would come back, all refreshed and tanned from his vacation. But now we're on to number six and seven, Julian and Patrick. And that's where the story, well, takes an interesting turn. Are you still there? Holy shit, are you listening? somebody listening? Anybody listening to the true story of why Victoria gets raped and robbed on a regular basis? It's a hell of a story and Julian's one of the stars of it. Small world, huh, man? What's up, boy? How you doing? Good. How you doing?
I want to talk to you about something. Your hypnotist, your hypnotist training. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Um, I was attacked about 20 minutes ago um, at the AMPM parking lot. You always used to talk about hypnosis. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you recalling this with some movie and some some you know crazy psychedelic trip that you were on sometime? That there was a little leprechaun in. And there's a correlation there and you're figuring it all no, out. No, you talked in depth about... Uh, to you. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Man, At talking. your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. It's by a guy in the uh, AMPM parking lot. Okay, uh, do you know him? Yeah, his name is Josh. He's an undercover cop and he was... Uh, it was his job to make sure my daughter lost custody of her son, so he got... He did so a lot... Yeah, he stopped there and beat you up. At one point, he grabbed me. I fell to the ground. I got inside the AMPM, and he didn't want to come in there, so he he ran back to his truck and he yelled that he was going to kill. He grabbed me and pulled me to the ground at what at which is when I scraped my knee, but I I got Did away. Did he punch you in the face? No. Okay, whatever. At your house, you talked in depth about knowing about putting people under hypnosis. How easy it was. I remember that conversation. Raccoon buddies, I'm gonna leave this food for you. Bye. Sorry we couldn't stay to feed you, but Mr. Ranger, in your own best interest, says we have to leave. So now you get to starve. It ain't right. It ain't right. I love you. Brother, you know your table, right? And scene. Right there. Oh yeah. That right there, that's glorious. I don't care what anyone says, that's glorious. Say your old Ted, just no way to wake up. Say your old Ted, right there, right there. Yeah! Right there. Right there.